pretty painting. Pretty, pretty. All right. There's the weird hut you started in. There's the forest. Kind of has like a sharpen effect and a painter filter over it, but it otherwise looks like a screenshot for sure. Yeah, just some, some gallery images of the area. Another linking book. Oh. I started like this, right? So, yeah, behind me there's a whole room. I am back in the cave, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm back in the cave with the infinite black red void pool in the city area. Except usually I'm in the city area in 3D. This is clearly a 2D texture of it, just to set that the location's there. But they chose not to render it in its entirety. Probably because we're not going to be able to see out into it besides that one window, or maybe another, another window somewhere. Ooh, I like books. Can't read, can't look at that. Number two pencils. It's really weird to see the uh, earth items in the Mist universe. We're colonizing it. Sort of. The. A lot of books, they don't seem very interactive. This stuff might be though. Is that a map of... That doesn't look like Earth, does it? Nope. Nope, that's not. That's not Earth. Numbers. Huh. Seems like one, and then like... 30? Then, I don't know. No, I, I thought of it in base 10 on accident. Uh, I... Bleh. Let's try to think about their, their number system too much. I'm sorry, are these longitudinal lines? Holy crap, look how much they warp across the globe. Wait, what the fuck? This line goes all the way over here, then all the way around here, then all the way down? Wait a minute, wait. These aren't latitude and longitude, are they? Isn't the whole point of having the dual globe type projection to make the lines make more sense than that? It must represent something else. There's a mechanical suit down there like the one we saw in the training place or whatever on the previous age. Huh. Mostly numbers everywhere. Not sure what I'm, what I'm looking at. This one's this area is red. Huh. Yeah, Douglas Sharp Sharper. Ah, that's an R, evidently. Doctor Watson, big problems. The house on Noloban is not empty. I met someone there today. My Denis isn't great, but I spoke with him for a while. Yeah, he's Denis, and as we figured, he knows a lot about the creatures. A whole lot. We obviously need a meeting ASAP. Mary. Sketches? Like a blimp or something? Douglas Sharper. Douglas Sharper 04. Which one's the new and old one? I don't, the other one doesn't have a number on it. Uh, let's do the closest one first. Picture of a hut. January 23rd, 2004. Though seeing the Patriots go to another Super Bowl land, hopefully... Oh, those are parentheses. They're going to the, the... Though seeing the Patriots go to another Super Bowl and hopefully win, is obviously on my mind compared to what I've returned to here in Denis. What happened? I'm hearing that the DRC is leaving the whole thing behind. Watson's not returning. Kodama, Loxman, Sutherland, and all of the little guys. Nick, Simpson. I never saw it coming. Angberg, even. They are claiming... They are claiming funds, but I wonder if it was something more than that. I thought I would have a lot to write today, but my mind is going everywhere. I've come to love the place, the offices, the creatures, the people, the game, even the DRC. 
I'm stunned. Is it really going to come to an end? 26th. The disagreements of the past are no longer separating us, obviously. Had a good talk with Kadama and Laxman today. They are disappointed and saddened. Frustrated. Poor Laxman is still working on the keys. Says he's standardizing keys and implementing some kind of remote upgrade. Except for that, they're beginning to close things down. They seem to know what happened to Watson. Apparently he spoke to Kadama at least once since that day long ago. Neither wanted to go there, so I let it go. Regardless, there was a glint in their eyes. Maybe not too surprising for Laxman, but Kodama? The man never has an ounce of glint. Seems they have journeyed. They have a journey they'd like to take. 30th. Laxman said, Laxman must have seen the, the light. Key lattice is going down to base features before he heads up. I'm heading up to the service myself. Houston for the Super Bowl. Another championship is just what I need right now. I'll be back. February 5th. Champions! Again! Not sure I could have asked for a better game, regardless of the halftime debacle. I have to admit, though, I thought the big victory would be enough, but I still find myself troubled down here. The 9th. What does that say? 2175.58.81 What is it? A coordinate? Why is Zandi uh, sending this thing out? The gathered will tell the path of the shell? What? Spoke to Nick last night. He's already heading up back to the northwest somewhere. I'd like to see the kid again sometime. Good kid, I'll miss him. I think Floka has left as well. Another good guy. I'm gonna grab my notes. Grab my notes, and let's write down that weird bit. Let's see. 2175581. 58 dot dash 81? That's weird. And then they said... Uh, the gathered will tell the path of the shell. I'm going to write down, that's a quote from Zandi, apparently. Or at least of the source. The downside of having the journal in this game is, as far as I can tell, yeah, you can't call it up right now. So I can't reasonably write that in my journal while keeping it on the screen. I'd have to go back and forth a lot. So having physical notes is still useful. I can transfer it to the journal afterwards. This is the February 11th. Went to the spy room today and not quite the same anymore. I missed the intrigue and found myself saddened at the thought of it all going away. No reason to go through the trouble of making the backside secure anymore. Looking back, I realized how lax I was. Anyone could have found the book. I assumed the backside of Teladon was secure, but it obviously wasn't. Not if they are all seeing... Not if they were all seeing Shroomy. Shroomy? And to think, if there had been two of them, all they had to do was close the door and their friend would have seen the book. I guess none of it matters now. Don't suppose anything will... We'll, we'll be going to the slave caves any anytime soon. Oh well. Slave caves? I don't like the sound of that. Eh. Eh. So the backside... The backside of the spy room has a security set up here. Are they doing that trick where you close a door and then behind the, the closed door, whoa, another room, like they did, because they've done that like in a few times, right? I think it happened in Mist 3, maybe, but it definitely happened in Abduction. The recurring thing, now he's like chiding himself for it. I'm a little ashamed that I'd forgotten about Phil. 
I suppose the surface trips, football games, and obviously events down here had caused me to forget about him. His Relto book was in the spy room. I paid the area a little visit, a memorial of sorts. I assume he's officially dead now, although I should ask the boys. You're talking about people that have died? What? On the 13th, my god, I may have killed him. In th is this? And then he just stopped, like he didn't want to write. But maybe because it was incriminating, I don't know, he, he didn't want to continue that thought. Um, <laughs> we'll see where that comes up later. 28th. There is no lift, there is no life here. Literally and figuratively, they're all gone. And I'm stuck alone with the thought that Phil may have died because of me. Have you been here two weeks since then? Alone? I've talked to a number of the DRC about it. They never found a body, but apparently a destroyed key was found at the bottom where the precipice once stood. No one wanted to say it, but I've had the dream twice now. Bill standing up there, confident in his ability to return to his relto at any time. The first crack. Still confident, enjoying the thrill. Another crack of stone, and the tower begins to break. He reaches down to grab the relto book, just to be ready. Then he realizes it's gone. He turns to escape, but he's already fallen. Falling, a cry for help. That those... That those who were there heard. He has no chance, because I took the book. The rubble buries him forever. No, I have to believe it didn't happen that way. So the Relto books are the books that we have on our hips, aren't they? The ones that break the rules of how mist linking books work in the first place, basically. We can have our magic get out of jail free card savior book that saves us from bad things happening. So this this was somebody that got used to those working and then died as a result. Huh. Is it the same numbers? 2175. Yeah, it's the same numbers. Uh, March 1st, 2004. 2175.58.81 has appeared on my desk again. I thought everyone was gone. Zandy? If I don't do anything else, I have to find this place before I leave here. I'm supposed to. Zandy wouldn't send it out if there wasn't a reason for it. If it is him. Maybe I'll find some answers. Watson, Phil, the DRC, the failure. Do these coordinates hold the answers? Whoa! Whoa! Creepy. Is that the day I started playing this game? <laughs> November 16th, 2018. That's probably the day I started playing this game. Is someone else here? I'm not sure I'm alone anymore. I'm going to have to be careful. The 16th, the 17th, it seems obvious. I have to get the Great Zero on. Rumors used to be that DRC had the multiple links inside their private rooms in Kirill. Getting to Kirill isn't a problem. It's getting to the private rooms, that is. It's something to do with the lights, I figured. Just not sure what. November 18th. G equals green, O equals orange, B equals blue. OGB. Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> okay. That's a cute detail. That the game is, uh, writing down new journal entries based on when I'm playing the game. A double-edged sword on how long it's been. Uh, on one hand, the fact that we are currently so far in the future compared to when the game came out makes it really obvious that they are journal entries about me, which is useful uh, for making me actually notice that, because the dates are so crazy. The uh, On the other hand, it's a little weird because uh, in-game, the implication is that this guy didn't write in this journal for 14 years, then suddenly wrote in it this one time because I showed up, and like... The, it seems to imply nothing of interest has happened for 14 years, basically. But that's because it's been 14 years. So a little double-edged sword about how long it's been, because it definitely makes it way more obvious to me that those are talking about me, which is the intention, but if I was playing this game when it was brand new, if the date seamlessly moved forward, like it was a few days or a few weeks later, I might have not noticed it was about me. Although, if, I, if it was like 2006 even, I probably would have been like, whoa. The text looks a little weird too, almost like it's generated. 
Probably because it kind of is. That's at least the number. Okay, they're talking about me again. I have to get the great zero on. Huh. So he's alive. And he's still here. Why is he still here when, like, seemingly no one is still here? That's weird. That's weird. Let's see. There's the other one. Whoa. Way older. 97? That means at this point this guy's been here for decades. Uh... I'm just imagining if this game lasts long enough and is still playable in distant future computers, like at some point this this poor NPC will have this unnaturally long human life if he uh, is like being conjured up by gamers in 2080 and stuff like that and still being forced into the game. Like, I'm a hundred years old, leave me alone. November 14th, 97. Looks like they've agreed to let me take control of Teladon. Time to start a journal, officially. 17th. Maybe not. Kodama popped in, going on about his inspections in his usual arrogant manner. What a joke. 24th. Now it's Watson's turn. Acted as though he was chatting, but I could tell he was looking all over, checking on my progress, or maybe making sure I can be trusted. I'll just get used to it. 25th. Time to move forward. DRC isn't going to change anytime soon. December 15th. Merry Christmas. Going up for a few months. Can't take this red tape anymore. 29th of January. That's a, like a, that's a big gap between entries. Yay for Broncos. Patriots should have been there, stupid Steelers. Okay, maybe Taladon will help me forget all this. <laughs> he goes to work to forget sports and then goes to sports to forget work. Uh, February 15th, 1998. Looks like I'm going to need Watson after all. I found all kinds of journals and notes upstairs that I'm going to need translated. I think Watson's going to let one of his assistants help me out. Sam. March 1st. Sam's not the fastest translator I've ever seen. I don't think he's even started Kodama. Oh, I don't think he's even started. Kodama came by again today. Sneaky little periods hiding in there. Two days later, spotted something today. Creature of some kind. Forget the history of this place for now. I've got to see that thing again. March 7th. Saw her again. Wow, what a beauty. I kind of like the detail of that he's changing pens. Like they're running out of ink from working on other stuff and everything. And he apparently just casually changes colors rapidly. Two days later, she's very sensitive to sound, startles like an antelope. I'm estimating she's a good 40 feet, killer whale type. Hard shell, though. March 18th, no sign of her in the area, in this area at least. Sam says he's going to have some time next week. At this rate. He's just trying to get stuff translated and the Sam guy is like, maybe I'll have time next week. And he's just like not getting anything done. March 25th. She showed up again. I saw her eating. She likes the flappers, feeds on them. Pretty quick and agile for her size, surprised me. Of course, those flappers aren't real bright. Those who weren't eaten went right back to the spot and waited for her to show up again. Looks like this place was written in 8990 for a Denis Lord. Guild of Caterers. 250th birthday present. If I'm ever 250, someone better give me something better than this place. April 5th. Sam's busy again. Did get me some more translations, though. Seems like the mushrooms were used for some kind of delicacy. To be honest, I'm not sure Sam got that one right. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Not with what I'm seeing. April 7th. Watson told me Sam is too busy to help me. I'm gonna have to learn this language myself or find someone who could actually help me. Next day. Watered her for a while today. Definitely feeds on the flappers close to shore. Also feeds on mushrooms. April 15th. Does she ever feed on mushrooms? Oh, does she ever feed on mushrooms? That's a phrase like a question, but there's no question mark, which means it's a period. 
uh, watched her completely destroy one today. Brought the whole thing down and fed for some time. Till scared off by something. Two days later, Mushroom's gone. Probably sank. Kodama came by again today and I was glad the girl wasn't around. Last thing I need. A month later, May 14th. One, the flappers like the spores. Two, the creature likes the flappers. Three, she's scared to death of loud sounds. If I get this equipment running, she's gone. Heading up in a week. Going to try and get this gate down before I go. See if she'll come in while I'm gone. Are you trying to lure it and trap it? Three months later, August 12th, three mushrooms were down. Seems all of them were a particular kind. She was in the lagoon, I think. I could have taken her out, but not yet. DRC would have a fit. Probably kick me out or something. She's definitely an air breather. Could hear her today sleeping on the surface. Kodama followed me here and scared the heck out of her. She woke up and shot out, shot out of here fast. Kodama never saw her. Apparently some new guy is learning to knee and wants to work with me. We'll see. August 28th. There are quite a few new people coming down. A group of them from some game company was recently here. And there was quite a stir. I met a few of them. Nice guys. September 15th. Another month later. Well, eh, two weeks later. Haven't seen her for a full month. I'm going to start working on the equipment here. Can't wait forever. And the DRC is getting on me. As though they own the place. October 1st. The tower is almost working. Need some tools from the surface. No sign of shroomy. Met the new guy, Nick. Nice guy. This might be real good. S smart guy. Picking up Denis fast. He's gonna keep at it, but I give him some material to study in the meantime. A month later again, November 5th. Quick trip up and back down. The tower's working. Nick dropped off some translation and it all matches the old stuff. He's working on new material now. Tower is powered and more projects. November 14th. His buckets are a mess. So is the elevator. I found some kind of pump mechanism to get the water out. I think all of it will have to wait. I'm heading back for the holidays. An end of season. Tickets for Monday night game against Miami. Patriots still in the playoffs hunt. January 1st, or January 7th, next year. Full month and a half later. Patriots out, back down. Nick is more than I could have hoped for. Seems for keeping the translations out of DRC's... Oh, seems up for keeping the translations out of DRC's hands. Has had some bad experiences with Kodama and Engberg and, and in my camp now. Perfect. Apparently, Hinash. Hin Is that H I N A H S H? That middle H seems redundant if that's. Yeah. Apparently, Hinash only owned the age for 10 years. At his death, Teladen was left to the guild of. Caterers who installed the equipment that I'm working on today. Some of the translation has actually been rather helpful. I think I can get the pump working. It was never meant for water, but I think it would pump out the water. Nick says there's quite a bit of guild captain Ventus who ran the age for quite a few years and directed the industrialization of the place. Did quite a job apparently, although Nick is still reading signs of Shroomy. But I haven't seen her for a long time, and I'm not going to stop working on the equipment now. Apparently no mention of her in the stuff. Nick is reading. February 4th, 1999. By the way, when they talk about the game developers, I wonder if they're talking about Cyan. <laughs> like if they made... 
I think I've heard of the uh, potential theory that like the other missed games were like fictional a adaptations of what happened in the world. So that's this not exactly one to one, whereas this game might be implied as being the reality or something. Uh, February fourth, pump works. So that I keep I'm keeping the water there. Nice form of protection to the other side. At least until I discover what it was used for. That's Nick's job now. I have my ideas, though. Seems as though Ventus installed the gate to keep Shroomy out of here. Didn't like her eating his shrooms. Good idea. Two days later. Ventus maybe wasn't so great after all. Ruined the place. Turned into what we see now. Explains the differences in early descriptions to later ones. Seems the age was auctioned off, and that's all off the official records. Or that's all of the official records. Nick can share those with the DRC, I don't mind. Two days later. Showed Nick some of the manuscripts I've kept hidden. I'm quite sure I can trust him now. He's given the official report to Watson and the others, and is willing to do these extra translations to the side. Good man. March 1st. Watson, Kodama, and Sutherland came by today. It was prearranged so they didn't see anything they didn't need to. They seem satisfied with the work I'm doing, although the fact they continue to check on me drives me mad. They say they want the age ready for visitors relatively soon. I didn't realize that anyone and everyone would be allowed access to the place, but why not? I suppose. I'll still have my areas. This juxtaposes really strongly with the fact that this guy was talking about how he's frustrated with how the translator doesn't seem to be willing to actually get anything done. And like he had this guy Nick before that was really useful and even was trustworthy. And he could be he could keep private secrets. March 4th, 1999. Big argument today with Watson. Upset. I didn't share with him all that Nick had translated. Miscommunication. Although, I'm happy Nick has kept his mouth closed regarding the other. Regardless, I can't take their nitpicking. I'm heading to the surface for a long trip, returning to Africa again with the fellows. Don't know when I'll be back here. Nick knows to keep things quiet. I've set things up for Shroomy to, be, to return, and I have plans to bring down some new items. Look forward to returning a long time from now. It is a long time later. Wow, he left for like 11 months. February 15th, 2000. Back to Teladon again. The surface, keep, uh, the surface trip triggered some ideas for here that I think I'll be exploring. Some talks with Engberg might be in order soon. Nick has gotten a load of translation done. I'm going to try and summarize as best I can, if I can remember everything. This place was owned by a fellow named Manesmo. Or Mont Mainsmo? Blah blah. This man apparently got the place cheap somewhere. He started the harvesting of spores again. It seems the age had corrected itself over time. Bread, apparently, they were making. The same delicacy Denis had raved about before. Made a decent amount of money. However, he was doing a lot of stuff in the dark slave trading. I'm sure Watson would have a fit if he knew this. His precious Denis. Where they were going, we can't find out, but it explains the cages and the whole backside of this place, really. Hiding from maintainers, I suppose. We found some more mention of Shroomy as well. Menesmo saw her pretty frequently. They even found her nest. I'm heading out tomorrow to see. As far as Shroomy herself, she's been here, but was not here when I arrived. Shrooms have managed to disappear, and she broke a walkway on the backside. Have to fix that now. Was that the implication of the broken walkway back there? Except that would have been so many years ago. I think it's just more of an implication of how walkways can get broken. Whatever, t whatever one got broken then probably got fixed. February 17th, 2000. No nest. Remains, yes, but she's obviously not been there for a long time. This place is much bigger than I thought. Learned that yesterday. March 3rd. The DRC is getting pretty serious about letting people down here. They've moved to the, to the island and are trying to get portions of the city open to visitors. Moving headquarters to a building there as well. 
I suppose I'm going to have to get serious about it as well. They're going to make me if I don't. So back to the equipment. Once again, a month and a half later. April 15th. Cars are giving me all, so all kinds of trouble. So is this ridiculous elevator. I don't know why I'm making a quick trip to the surface. Parts. May 23rd. Back with parts. Nick... Nick found out that slaves were going to a place called Rebeck. Haven't heard of it myself. I'm gonna ask Watson tomorrow. These, these, these quick trips are really long, by the way. It's apparently a process to get to the surface. Two days later, Watson has heard of it. Says they've been there. Asked how I knew and realized it was a mistake to ask about it. I told him Nick told me, and fortunately Nick told me later he had been doing some official translation for the age. Lucky me. Be more careful. May 28th. Found a new book today. A very special book. And he just he just kept silent about that for the next two weeks or something. He doesn't mention what the special book means. Huh. There's a lot of incriminating stuff in these journals, I gotta say. If he wants to keep the stuff secret. June 15th. Cars are working. Why they need to work? I don't know, but apparently the DRC wants this place restored to its original condition, so cars are working. July 2nd. Elevators work, finally. Nick tells me this Rebecca age is... was amazing, but he was pulled off of it. Games with the slaves from here were played there. Hunting games of sorts. I'm not for hunting people. But the game does sound fun. Doubt Watson would want to approve that age too fast. Is that what the competing teams were in the suits? Were they slaves? That they put that pit against each other for blood sport or something? August 2nd, DRC is planning on opening this place in 2002. They, of course, haven't bothered to tell me that, but regardless, it's true. We're working on getting some lights going in here. I have a feeling inspections will be increasing. August 10th. Watson informed me of the plans today. 2002 is the target. Thanks. Two days later, Nick stopped by, and we've got a little more information. Looks like there's some kind of weapon in our hands. At least I could be. At least it could be used as a weapon. After the lights. Three days later, inspection planned for next month. One month later, September 12th. Lights are functioning. Cars, doors, elevators. Not sure what else they'll want, but I'm sure they'll come up with something. Three days later. Well, stupid me. I have an entire list of items that need to be accomplished for this place to be safe. I wouldn't be taking any... I won't be taking any more ages after this one. Maybe a city location. I can't take this. Two days later. Shroomy's back. Watched her all day. Out of the blue. I think she's starting to like me. This could be good. I'll give up working for a short while. Three days later. She's nervous, but coming back daily. I keep the gate down. One day later. She's trapped. Got the gate up, with her inside eating flappers. Set her off. Pretty obvious she could be a nasty girl if she wants. But still. I'll have a shot. And I need to do it before Kodama shows up. Next day. Got her. Time for a surface trip with the important parts. I'll sink the rest. What do you mean by got her? What are you doing with Shroomy exactly? 